Oh, okay. Well, I get to be live for some reason, which is really cool. It's it's Friday night. Yay! I didn't have to work today. I'm I'm very excited. Wait, I'm just checking to make sure nobody already casted it. There we go. I'm replay casting this from yesterday just because this was Mary Todd Lincoln and Seven Dark Thirty. These two teams were at the very top. Let's see. MTL was as of I haven't looked at this week, but as of last like yesterday, before they played, MTL was in first place with seven wins, and Seven Dark Thirty was in second place for with six wins. So we'll see how they go. Um I I do know who already won because I'm downloading the replays right now but hopefully it's gonna be right here I, I i haven't downloaded them yet but it should theoretically be in the amateur stuff if i do like ad12 there's season 35 oh nope ad12 season 35 okay then it's got scroll over looking for the thing is 72 pages so this might take a while mary told like it's 7 dark 30. let's go let's go that's not the right one um, fine. I got the match IDs. I'll do the match IDs. Probably easier. Ready, set, go. Um, watch now. Replays. Match IDs. Oh. Wait, it's Savage Sabres? What the heck am I even talking about? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, wait, wait, let me, let me go check who I'm actually casting. Just give me a moment. MTL versus 7 Dark 30. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me go find the right thing. Cause clearly something's messed up. They played multiple teams. They played Savage Sabres? What? Doesn't seem right. Did I screw something up? I probably screwed something up. I don't know. Give me a moment. Overview. Matches. Esports profile. Okay. Mary Todd Lincoln. Versus 7 Dark 30. Okay. Here we go. Here's the series. I don't know what's up. For some reason, it's like showing it's. The, when I looked at 7 Dark 30, like their profile was weird. Or maybe something happened. Whatever. Back, replays, match IDs. There we go. MTL and 7 Dark 30. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. I'm casting live. I don't usually cast live, which is weird. But it's Friday night. And the games hopefully aren't too long, because otherwise I'm going to get to my bedtime and we're going to have to like do this later. So let's just jump into this. Download the first one. Game number one. Here we go. It's gonna be cool. Ooh, Torontingo. Seven, you're here. Radiant wait, team wait, bands. pause, pause. Ah! Let me check all the levels. There's the mic. I got my candy cane. We're gonna be drafting. We're replay casting. There's no delays, even though it says delay. Ignore the fact, let me take that off. Okay, no delay. And, and here we go. We're, we're, we're doing this, we're doing this. Okay, so. Welcome, welcome, just team me man. sitting here. Radiant the Amateur team Dota 2 man. Challenger League Season 35. This is week number f five. Week number, f wait, week number one, two, three, four. Week number five, yeah, week number five. Uh, it's the best man. of two between Mary Todd Lincoln and Seven Dark Thirty. As of when they played this, MTL had seven wins and Seven D Thirty had Six wins. Radiant team. I know who wins this game because I just opened the replay and so I already know how it ends, but I don't know who wins the second game. So, you know, it could go any direction. As you can see, this is the beautiful Mary Child Lincoln right here. Wife of Abraham Lincoln, I think. I'm, I, I think that's what it is. They're number one, so they're... Ten seconds. I don't know remaining. if you're really favored because just one win difference. Who knows? And 70-30 with a really, Five really cute kitty. Remaining. I highly approve. I don't know what this is. But it's it's something. Fans coming out is Leshrac and pick. Shadow Shaman. Lesh is a great mid hero. Shadow Shaman's pretty pretty good support. Lots and lots of disables. Don't know why they're banning him, but they're just decent heroes in general. 
I much better understand the bands on the other side. Hoodwink and Underlord. Underlord's a very strong offlaner these days. And Hoodwink is super annoying. Chilling around in the Ten trees. Lots of the bushwhacks and stuff. She's really good. And she has a break from the the sharpshooter. Five seconds and remaining. And she picks up Witch Doctor out there. First pick. Classic support. Pretty solid. Has stuns, has maledict for lots of damage, and has the AOB heals. And Death Ward, of course, generally all around a great hero. Doesn't scale like incredibly well, but really, really, really good for being in lane. And combos very nicely with certain heroes like Ten Juggernaut remaining. or hmm, Juggernaut Five or other heroes. Remaining. You just get a cask on them, you get maledict, and then dish out damage. Checking out with Witch Doctor is very, very good. There's probably plenty of other combos that are also fantastic, like CK. Dawnbreaker would have been cool too. But 70 30 picks up Dawnbreaker as their first pick. Could be an offlane Dawnbreaker, that's pretty common. I have seen mid Dawnbreaker though in the past. And I've also seen support Dawnbreaker, which is kind of weird. More than likely though, it's going to be a pause 2 or a pause 3. Kind of weird to put it out there first. And now they picked up Night Stalker as their second pick. Night Stalker is typically going to be your pause 3 in the offlane as a core. So Dawnbreaker is almost certainly not there. Could be a pure support Dawn. Not unheard of. Not totally weird. Dawnbreaker is not so hot up against... Definitely not up against Bane. Up against Witch Doctor. Mm. Not the end of the world. The problem is that Dawnbreaker is very vulnerable with the... Starbreaker, the sun doesn't happen until the third hit, remaining. and any interruption to it cancels the Starbreaker. So, Cask and Nightmare and stuff, that's going to ruin her life there. Hopefully, she can time it well. Radiant team Dark Stalker's good in general, up against Witch Doctor and Bane with the Silences, Crippling Fear. At night time, but Bane and Witch Doctor together have a lot of stuns between them. Good combinations, that's pretty, pretty good supports in general in their lanes. I would assume Witch Doctor in the, in the safe lane, being in the off lane. Even though Witch Doctor is a bit better at harassing everyone, has a longer attack range, a bit more of a threat than Bane. Bane has a shorter attack range, has a sustain of the Brain Sap. Hmm. Up against Night Soccer though? Ten seconds yeah, I'd say have Witch Doctor up against Night Soccer. It's probably better. Bane has the Cold Nightmare set up, which remaining. is going to be good for Radiant something. I guess Nightmare man. into something. We don't, we don't know yet. Support Dawn. Okay. Pretty good, pretty fun. I will assume Support Dawn. Seems much more likely than a mid Dawn. Especially as your first pick. More bands is Clock. Clock is super, super annoying for both Witch Doctor and Bane who have two channeled ultimates. Clockwork would be so, so annoying for them. And of course the interruption with the hookshot. But really, just battery assault with them. Ah. Oh. Absolute chaos. AA Ten gets banned. I remaining. don't know why. Maybe their future pickups. CK. Five seconds CK remaining. CK is just a good hero in general. Good interruptions. Pretty good up against both heroes once CK pops the ult. Banning out Jug. Totally agree. It makes a lot of sense. Jug with Fish Doctor is a mess to deal with. They ban out Huskar. That would have been a fun mid. Husk versus Night Stalker is really good. Husk versus Dawnbreaker. Um, pick. I guess Cus is just kind of good in certain situations anyway. Against these two, yeah, his, his inner fire would be great up against Dawnbreaker, Starbreaker. Up against Night Stalker, it really depends. Still, he, he is pretty good up against those two heroes. Good up against melee in general. Urso Beck is also banned. Ten he would do remaining. fantastically in the offlane with what we've seen thus far. Five seconds He's a good remaining. hero in general. I think the best two cores at the moment, at least I think they're like on the top tier, is Jug and Bristleback. Those are two pretty big ones. And there's still plenty of other ones, but those Radiant are two of my favorites. Pick. Whoa, 70-30 picks up CM. That's cool. Now we got mana regen so that they can stand out some more. So good harassment. She will most likely be the safe lane support. Duking it out with Bane. We have nice setup Ten though. Crystal Maiden with Dawnbreaker remaining. can be pretty good. Crystal Maiden has lots of disables Five and slows. They cost remaining. a lot of mana, but they're decent. Her ult is going to be hard to get off. 
seeing as we have Witch Doctor and Bane at the moment, it's channeled. Unless you get the um, or even that. Whatever. She's generally a good hero. I like seeing her played, even though she's super, super, super squishy. Very little attack damage. Pretty crummy attack animation. MTO grabs Necro. Let's get this out of here. Ten seconds remaining. Necro as their mid or off laner. Five they don't have last remaining. pick, so they're gonna have to show their cards, most likely. Necro versus. Let's see who could it be. Mid lane's fine. Necro against this lineup. Hmm. Well, you got the old the interrupts BKB up against Night Shocker. It's just like whatever. Up against Dawnbreaker. Nothing crazy. No like obvious counters that I can see. Necro is in general pretty strong, and now they have a whole bunch of heals. Witch Doctor with the Voodoo Restoration. Bane's Brain Sap and Necro's Death Pulse and Death Seeker and Heart Dropper Aura passive stuff. Lots of regen. Lots of regen. Team pick. MTL picks up Razor. Okay. Razor versus Night Stalker is pretty decent lane. Razor mid is technically an option with Necro's mid. Razor in the safe lane. So wait, not a pause three. Maybe. But Razor versus Night Soccer is a pretty good matchup. Melee versus Razor is always a pain. And Night Soccer, until it gets to be nighttime, he Five won't have the super speed. Remaining. Razor versus Dawnbreaker, not as good. Dawnbreaker can always converge away. Not too big of a deal. I'm going to skip ahead because I'm really worried about my bedtime. We can skip through the drafting phase, right? It's not, not a big deal. Yeah, let's go ahead a bunch. Come on, Five come on, show remaining. me, show me stuff. Ready. Banning at Dusa, banning at AM. I don't know who they picked here because Dota is not very happy that I'm doing this. I'm very sorry. I probably shouldn't have done this. Um, yeah, my bad. Team. Looks like they still want carries, banning at Dusa and Five Weaver. AM is banned, Range AM is team a bit rough these days. I'm still a little bit mad at Dill for picking AM and not doing that Persona. A little bit frustrated. Let's just jump to the game because I screwed everything up. I'm, I apologize dearly. We got Invoker mid. Ooh, maybe Invoker mid. I like this. Offline Necro. Um, we got Drow. Drow carry Skywrath mid. I could see that. Lots of magic damage. Ooh. So much burst from from both sides lots and lots of burst i like this prepare for battle lung butter i like your name my favorite name thus far dr placebo i remember you placebo subwoofer i remember you subwoofer oh yeah so offline necro yeah so that's the sailing's normal paladin you have really really cool skin really cool look at that over here what IPA is they're all sticking together support dawn all flame so mid skywrath right yeah they're all grouping up though they want to prevent a smoke over here i'm assuming smoke from this way they're playing it safe they're playing it safe good choices good choices but here we go 30 seconds to battle it's it's Excellent. it's happening Nobody's gonna die, it appears. Everyone's sticking together, sticking to their side of the maps. These are the top tier teams of the Challenger League. My prediction, what is my prediction? A lot of burst damage here, a lot of burst damage here. Carry wise, Drow will out carry Razor generally, but MTL's team is so. So, so much sustain, so much heal, so much burst as well. Over here, they're a bit squishier with Skywrath and with CM, and Drow can be. Pretty vulnerable. Maybe not up against Razor specifically. Sustain wise, they don't really have much heals besides technically the Dawnbreaker passive. Mm. I already know who wins, so it's kind of unfair, but if I ignore the fact that I know who wins, I would probably go for MTL. Just because of the sustain they have. If, if they have a decent enough early game, if they can finish it early on, they 
It should be okay. It should be okay. Not that I know anything about the players. I recognize some of these names, but I don't know. IPA pointed out to me that I had, in fact, mentioned... Ooh, Wex. EMP does actually connect. Well done. Dropping a sentry. Is it in range? It's not in range. Oh, that stinks. Good try, Dr. Placebo. Good try. Yeah, I marked that I was going to cast them because I was casting Pot of Pride. Ooh, good denies from IPA. I was going to cast Pot of Pride yesterday, but then they said that Daddy's D was going to have to forfeit, so they said I should cast MTL instead. So I signed up to cast MTL, but then Daddy's D actually did show up, and so I didn't get to cast them. So now we're replay casting today. Well, over at top, we have Cloud D. Cloudy. Cloud? Either way is a really cool name on this drow, not an arcana drow, supported by, by the terrible player. A really, really pretty skin, but an absolute terrible player. They're up against Lung Butter on this Witch Doctor. Support, oh, over at bottom, Bane's getting pretty low, Razor gets the link, and down goes. Shubido, though. Shubido, Shubido. Goes down first. Not technically a first blood because it was a double person kill. And over at mid, Invoker goes down. Oh my god, IPA goes down to or takes down Dr. Placebo. I don't know what's going on. One for one. And IPA is gonna suicide, maybe? No, please don't suicide. Come on. There we go. Lung butter's here, cast goes out. Is it gonna be enough? It's not gonna be enough. Maledic is not quite catch. That would have been it if the Maledic catch in the one hit. Would have been plenty, but it's not. IPA, 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 placebo, tornado EMP, IPA might be going down, far spy as well, IPA pops the fairy fire, one more hit, might do the trick, oh, not quite there, somehow IPA on the Skywrath Mage at mid survives, has the salve being flown out, pretty good timing, necro is crazy though, lung butter gets the cask out, going on a terrible player, they're going to be okay, lung butter gets somatic onto terrible player, salve onto subwoofer, Cloud decides not to interrupt the salve and actually go after Lung Butter. Takes a good chunk of damage. Lung Butter has a salve waiting as well if they need to. Finally, over at bottom, we have Shubidoo on the Dawnbreaker, who died on Dawnbreaker. Supporting J J Jix. J Y X Z. Jikes. Jikes. J Jix? Jinx? Jinx! Something. I, I don't know. It is it is something. They're up against this paladin person on Razor with two levels of static link. They have to be so careful because two melee heroes up against Razor. Not a very fun lane. And the really cool technically Razor. Look at that. Floating on a bucket of snakes. On a, a, a skirt of snakes. Razor is hard. His attacks is just weird. It's like, it's like Lena's Laguna Blade where they hit, but the damage doesn't occur until afterward. Finally, we have MTL side Thebe Plus on the Bane, which Dr. Getting pretty low at top. So getting slow, does nice. the creep, lung butter. Ooh, fairy fire and goes down to the creep instead. Once again, preventing, stopping from dying to directly to the heroes, to one hero. That's pretty good. I think they did waste two fairy fires. He almost survived, it just wasn't quite enough. Last hit wise, Jix, Jinx, J Jikes, Jikes, Jix. Good taunts. Good taunts. This Bane taunt makes no sense to me. Does, can someone explain it to me? He like, he, he, cl he claps like cheese in his hands. I don't get it. And there's some music. What does that have to do with Bane? I don't, I don't get it. Over at top, terrible player goes down to Lung Butter, most likely the Maledict. Yes. With the help of Subwoofer. Necro's doing pretty good at this point. Subwoofer is very, very sustainable. You got the two levels of Heartstopper Aura with the passives. Decently tanky enough, even with no items. So this should be okay. Looks like the Courier is waiting to get the Arcane Rune, I would assume. So Necro, Jix, Jikes, IPA. Please alert the society for the prevention of cruelty to carriers. IPA versus Invoker. Skyrath versus Invoker. Looks like IPA is going to maybe rotate. No. Has level 6. Razor goes down over at bottom. 
should be used here as well. Converge helped out. I'm not razor dying. Link was gotten off. Did it connect on anyone? It did not. Oh my gosh, everyone's dying. Cloud goes down at top to Lung Butter once again. Maledict too strong. The placement must have been absolutely amazing. I am tempted to go back, but we're going to pretend like this is a live game and I'm not going to pretend I have any powers I don't actually have. IPA is here. No, not really any mana. Tornado EMP. IPA is going to get hit by the EMP. No mana to speak of. That stinks. Nice gets pretty low at bottom. Jix is kind of low. Cloud and Field goes out. It does finish off Jix. Paladin's got level 3 Plasma Field. That's pretty buff. The bane of your existence. Oh. Oh. Dr. Placebo. Finally takes out that ward over here. Nice work. Don't think he ever ended up getting the ward over here. That one just timed out. Should we do, Bop? Should we do? It's night time. Let's see if Night Stalker can get anything out at this point. From Verb. Get on a thief. Starbaker's there. She was very, very low. Popped six charges. Doesn't have anything. No dies to Bane. Jig takes on Thieve. The Paladin is here with level 6 and Metallic Link. Nice Locker turns around, tries to get the Void on there, but loses a lot of, of damage. Kind of stinks. Over at top, Cloud is being very, very close on better has my auto up in a second. Hmm. Oh my gosh, Paladin goes down to IPA this time, IPA is a rotation. No Misty Flare needed. I really should rewind and look at these things. It's just happening so fast. Both teams, so much burst damage. So much burst. Lung butter. Tribal player. Chaos goes out, but nothing to bounce on top of. Now that it connects on Tribal player, they're going to have to back off completely. Lung butter has boots. Tribal player also has boots. They have the same movement speed, so no worries there. Any combos with the, with the nightmare? Not anymore. <laughs> Nice night round of Jix, but Jix gets can cancelled off, so I don't know why. That was kind of weird. Oh, Clouds of the Field cancelled it off. But there's a static link, and the Eye of the Storm takes down Shibidu. Jix takes out the with the final void, and Jix is gonna get out of here. Dark Ascension's available, but Jix is way too too low. Maybe we can grab the Haste Rune, go after Placebo, or just go back to lane. Placebo's got double nulls and the Urn. No charges yet, we need to get some charges. Kind of, it's, it's a good build, but you, because it helps you get kills, but then you gotta be part of kills in the first place. Wow, MP connects. Under in order to get charges. So it's like a little weird thing. You wanted to get the kills, but you needed to get the kills. Hmm. Helen has got raindrop, which is pretty good. Jix is, is running, running all the way back to Dyer's base. Middle tower. Terrible player. He's gonna bait. Gonna bait. Bait! Not too much of a bait. Concussive shock goes out. Lung Butter's trying to regen back up. So slow. TV's coming in for Nice Locker. Now that it connects, cast bouncing around. Terrible player's in a little bit of trouble. TB comes in, but gets cancelled off. From was that Paladin? That was was that. D plus. That was D plus. What's everyone going for? Placebo's doing pretty good last hit wise. Well done, Placebo. Jix is right up there. Subbuffer's doing pretty good too. Placebo's rotating up to top. They want to try to get a kill. Cloud's farm isn't nearly as good, but better than Paladin's. Don't so carry for carry. Dare. Cloud has a slight edge. IPA has the Mystic Flare, but surprise, surprise, everyone's here. There's, this, there's the thing. If I go down and down, goes Subwoofer. In response, Terrible Player gets taken out by Lung Butter this time. Lung Butter is very, very low. Oh, we got the slow hit from Cloud. Cloud gone up Placebo. Now Placebo has Ghost Walk. Does get out of there, they don't have any vision. Radiance middle tower is under attack. IPA going for that Atos. Jix is running on the backside. It's night time. Jix wants to find someone. Placebo gets slowed by the void. Pops a silence. Placebo is in a little bit of trouble. Crippling Fear is still active, but Pop a sick charges. TP is coming in. And Subbuffer is here with the heals. Jix backs off. Going for Echo Saber on that Night Stalker. Necro going for Force Staff. Okay. Interesting. EMP has this on IPA. Oh my god, that EMP is so good. Level 4 EMP. Placebo going for Boots of Travel next. Bane is doing something. He's just a support. Who who knows? Lungbiter got Arcane Boots. Because the stand going for Glimmer Cape next. 
Razor got Falcon Blade. Ugh, he went for the slow stuff. Cosmic Field on Shooby Doom. Lots of damage. Jake is here, but it's now daytime. Okay, IPA. A toast. We already said that. Oh, mid tower getting pretty, pretty low. IP is probably going to try to deny. It's going to be kind of tough. Catapult everything TP's coming in. Can they get it? Several players here. There's a slow. Down goes the tower. Smoke happens. Over at bottom, smoke gets taken off. Nyx is here. Nightmare comes out. We do have Fiend's Grip. Eye of the Storm is there. Should we do get taken out by Thieb? Plus, Jakes is here, but there is the Paralyzing Cask. Thieb finally gets off Brain Sap. That was kind of weird. Now, five heroes here. Two ults popped, and down goes Jix. Subwoofer did not ult for some reason. I'm guessing not in range. Kind of stinks. Big commitment. Huge commitment by NTL. Just to take out the Nyx, or the Nyx. Objectives, though. They got mid tower. Time for bottom tower. Alright, the storm is pretty low cooldown, as is Death Ward. Placebo is placebo. No levels of Exor yet. A little bit odd, in my opinion. Typically, I think you get at least one, so you can do Alacrity. There's the, there's the slow Mystic Flare, and Invoker is going to get pretty low, but Placebo is actually kind of fine. No big deal. Has two Urn Charges as well. IPA already popped the Mystic Flare. Plus, MTL sticking together. Good saves on placebo. Don Becker's going for Death Pact. Makes sense. I approve. Jix is almost there. That seven, six hundred, six seven hundred from Echo Saber. Turbo player got the triangle boots. That's the important thing. Everything else is secondary. I still like how this is level one. It's ten seconds on. Creeps. 10 seconds. So if you're just gonna farm, then don't get more than one level. If you're gonna like jungle. Oh, Placebo's really, really hitting this. Oh, burn. Frostbite. I'd be in some serious trouble here. It's the 3D plus and down goes. IPA. A scythe kill. IPA's killing spree is ended. That's one sack for the Necro. Placebo's looking. Got a nice ancient stack. There's the thing there. Converge, converge. Get out of EMP range. Out of EMP range if there's the urn and the frostbite. No chance of Starbreaker. Really good combo for that. It means Domic cannot do really anything at all. Kind of frustrating. Hello, trusty shovel. Trusty shovel. Trusty shovel. Subwoofer. Subwoofer. You have the item. That means you gotta use it. You, you gave up you gave up the the chip best thingy over our top things are happening. Nightmare on there. There's a crippling here though. There's a void. Oh no! IP accidentally does the hit and it's actually not gonna be able to get the thing off. Thieb plus gets the brain sap, is gonna be perfectly fine. He's had a onto IPA. Dombrier coming with the old IPA this to your shovel, the bits of goes out. So I think he's still working on there, but there's the thing it but just barely enough damage from it. Down goes IPA to Paladin. Paladin gets finished off by Scooby-Doo, Long Butter kicks that Jix. Ian is here with the Frostbite and the Urn. Scooby-Doo's in some serious trouble. There comes out the damage. Terrible player drops the ult, but there's the Witch Doctor ult. Scooby-Doo goes down to Dr. Placebo and the Urn charges. Terrible player is able to walk out of there. Good Death Ward from Long Butter. Sun Strike. It does connect, but it's not quite enough. Wait, does it connect? I... Okay, I'm gonna go back. It's 10 seconds. Excuse me. It connects, but see... You got maxed out Wex, you have one level of expert. What do you think was going to happen? Ugh, all that's for nothing. All that for nothing. Oh, Young butter. Um, going for BKB on placebo? Okay. So before going for mech. B plus. B plus got the chip vest. Please tell me you use the. Okay, you use the shovel. Good job, subwoofer. Terrible player going for Glimmer Cape. I approve IPA. Ooh, Atos coming out. Atos coming out. Converge. Nice job, Shooby Doo. Gets the Starbreaker canceled, of course. Valedict. Mystic Fire goes out, but doesn't actually catch on anyone. The force staff was pretty good. Kind of a good reason to have it. Nice Gust. Hits on the three heroes. TV's coming out instantly, but the Scythe comes out and Cloud gets dropped. What a good ult from the Necrophos. 
I have the storm pop, going on terrible player, terrible ways of some trouble. There's the frost coming out. Cast gets thrown out but doesn't quite connect. Tornado comes out, but they're diving so far. Lung butter gets wrecked. So does terrible player as well. EMP goes out, does not catch on anyone. Nice drop drop on the ice wall so they cannot follow. They lost the Witch Doctor, but they took down Terrible Player and they already got two kills before that. Pretty good. My foot really itches. Jix has the E-Blade now and IPA has the Atos. It's like Necro knew it was going to happen and got the Force Staff preemptively. Nightmare onto IPA. B plus has Brain, has Fiend Script. Dawnbreaker will coming out with the, but there's the Exhort, Sunstrike. IPA is very low, but not quite dead yet. Paladin needs more hit. Tornado coming out. But the gust slows down Paladin. Is it enough? Plasma Field does finish off IPA so, so close. Cloud, you were almost on point. Knockback isn't that far when they're that far away from you. Trying to catch up. Paladin, nice slowest from the multi shot. Force staff away. Paladin Puzzle still connects onto Shooby Doom. There's the gust with the frostbite on the subwoofer. EMP's there. Can they finish off the buffer? Nice nightmare for Dodson. The damage. Go Shroud. Heals. Subwoofer's perfectly fine. So we're coming in though, hits onto all three heroes. Huge damage, but there's the ice wall. Down goes Shooby Doom. Down goes Subwoofer. Down goes 3 B plus. Here comes the Chaos Meteor doing like no damage because we got two levels of expert. But the Maledict. Huge damage. Down goes Turbo Player. Down goes Lumbutter. Down goes Paladin. Killing spree for Cloud. Hanging out there, just picking people off. Well done by 7 Dark 30. They lost two supports and they got four heroes, including two cores. Including the pause one and the pause three. Nice work from 70 30. They slowly pursued the ice wall here from Invoker, I thought was perfect, but. But. Jigs got around the side of it, went around this back side, had the Dark Ascension, and was able to mess them up right here. Well done. Cloud has taken the lead when it comes to last hit wise. Net worth wise, Paladin's still in the lead. Been involved in way too many kills. Six, four, and six. Oof. Pretty cray cray. Looks like he's going for BKB. Got mech finished up on some buffer. Five hero smoke. Ooh, they want to kill someone. Hanging out. Should we do? Should we do in some serious trouble? Some buffer comes out. Has scythe. Has scythe. Doesn't pop it. Okay. Interesting choice. I guess typically I like guaranteed kills, but technically he's saving the scythe for that was weird. Saving the scythe for a to actually get a kill is, is probably better than getting the stacks. The stacks are are cool, but they don't actually change the game that much. Unless you get like 50 of them, which is not really practical. Well done, Subwoofer. You made a choice I would not have made. Because I'm greedy for permi stacks. Radiance Why do you keep exhorting? Did you export Roche? Is that what you did? Two levels of export Roche? Sure. BKB is almost there. Jix Radiance probably Bosentar getting BKB as well. Cloud getting Manta. Has Dragon Lance. Has Yasha. Definitely a good choice to get that Manta. Good for dispelling all sorts of junk like Urn, tower. like the Frostbite, like the Death Seeker. Help messing up with all these heroes that have single target spells. I approve. Shooby Doo still working. Oh, there's the Fiend's grip on Shooby Doo. Cloud's coming over here with the Gust. It does connect, but not on to Subway for a positive token that Shooby Doo still left somehow. But throws the hammer the wrong direction and gets taken out. Nice rotation. BKB's finished up on Paladin now. Lung Butter. First staff probably flying out as we speak. Yep, there we go. Where's the Glimmer Cape? Someone's getting Glimmer Cape. B plus is getting Glimmer Cape. Is that also flying out? I don't think so. D plus, where's your Glimmer Cape? The direst elements no. are melting Radiance Bottom Tower. I don't understand. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Radiance Two carriers are neck and neck. Two off are neck and neck. Mid heroes, Dr. Placebo is far ahead of IPA. Very far, very far. Because IPA farms heroes. IPA does not farm creeps. This is the thing about Skyrim. Lots and lots of damage. But it costs mana. It's very, very sample, but you don't really farm creeps. You, you kill heroes. That, that's your job. 
Candy King. Ashibo probably has. has yep, beat, beat, beat. I pay going for shots. I like it. Radiance Middle Tower Ooh. is under attack. Charm. Radiance structures Yay. are fortified. It's a weird one. Radiance Middle Tower. Because you can't, you can't attack. do it. It's, it's it's daytime, so you can't you can't ult the, I and mean, you can't eat the ancient. Circles are being drawn by pink person. IPA. Is IPA attack. is circling. IPA wants something to happen. IPA is alone atop. And their farm is not as good as they would like it to be. Cloud finished up Manta. Tribal player finished up Gloomer Cape. Gloomer Cape is very, very important. Cloud killed on Shubidu. Shubidu is almost to Vlad's. I feel like he can 900. Yeah. Shubidu can basically buy it. There we go. I feel like, I feel like you're there. His tier 1's down. They've lost one of their tier twos. All their tier ones. Outpost is taken. Mm. MTL's keeping up the pressure. Well done. Greaves on subwoofer. That is so good. That is hugely important. It will dispel Atos, probably. It'll definitely dispel Concussive Shot and Ancient Shield. Ancient Seal. Really, really important. It'll dispel Gust. It'll dispel the Crystal Nova thingy, Spell the Converge, there's so many things it'll help with. Huge item for the Snapro. It made things a lot harder for them. We got Blink on Night Stalker, Nightmare on Thieve for some reason. A little bit excited. Sitting there invisible. Just for fun. Pick's looking for initiation, but MTL is just chilling around, baiting someone, daring someone to come in. Paladin's here with the haste rune. Frostbite, BKB's pop. Old pop, five, and special maiden with the glimmer cape. Pretty good damage. But the cast comes bouncing around as Shubidu walks up. Down goes somewhere for and Shubidu. And Jix, a terrible player, and B plus. So many deaths. Three heroes on the side of 70 30 go down. Only IPA and Cloud are alive. Yes, Necro died, but Paladin did a lot of work in Dr. Pivo's... Oh, you did use BKB. Okay. And Solar Guardian was, was committed. But didn't really do squat. And Dark Ascension. Good fight for MTL. Finally, we have the... Oh, Atos is there. Forced out. Oh, Paladin has a lot of damage! And gets wrecked! Forced out the wrong direction. Tips out to the lung butter. Sorry, lung butter. That thing that happens definitely blast push the two at the back. Doctor Shiva gets out of the ghost walk. Maldic still on Shiva two. Good pick off from seventy three. You're taking advantage of the four staff into the tower. <laughs> Not sure if Paladin was expecting that. Paladin probably working on the Sanja and Yasha. I would expect could be a Manta. Which would also be good for this spell, but SNY is probably better since we have the Greaves. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. I still like Manta. I do like Manta. But still, Manta is one dispel versus all these things have a lot of status, a lot of duration. So status resistance is usually pretty good. Um, Shubi Doo is definitely dead. Scythe, please. Oh, but there's a Mr. Fire coming out. Xor gets dodged. But Shubi Doo does eventually go down to Dr. Placebo. Gus will multi shot as well, and they do take out. Long butter. Cloud gets nightmare though, has DD. But here comes the crippling fear, and they take out Subwoofer. It's daytime, but who cares? Paladin is here, but there's a huge grip on a Jig. Jigs is in trouble. Paladin's so close to dying. BKB's about to wear off. Is it gonna be enough? It's not quite enough. Paladin gets Glimmer Cape and gets out of their IPs in trouble. IPA gets nightmare and Tornado. IPA's in trouble. There's a frost that come out on Dr. Pussy with Dr. Pussy. There's trouble. Pops the. Freezing kill or whatever, there's the death pack though. I mean the death ward. Down goes terrible player. I pay four staffs away. Should get out of there. They lost four. They forced the buyback on the witch doctor. But they lost two of their cores. They got the invoker and the necro, but somehow Paladin still survived. 
The Dyer Impossible. just can't resist attacking Radiant's top tower. IPA, a toast. Valedict, IPA, what are you doing? IPA, get it. I don't know it, why. Thinking out maybe a word. How to finish off the tower. Lots of money. For Paladin. What's on your mind? Time for Roche, maybe? Where is your shard, subwoofer? for Hello. Your shard would be so important in this game. So important. You get the etherealness so that either Drow can't attack or Drow can't hurt the person that's attacking. It's just so good in general. Roche is getting wrecked. Do they have any idea? They have no idea, it appears. They smoke, don't we hear smoke? They're, they're going. Is it gonna be enough? Oh, they smoke too! Down goes the creep. Hammer gets thrown in and they back off. Wow. Roche still at like almost half HP. IP is back to life, comes rotating. Cloud is just farming, cause why not? Cloud got BKB. That's pretty big. Fiend's grip goes through it and has the scythe, but oh, converse at a cling, cloud and pop seal has eye of the storm. Force half away and down goes who we do. Expert with Fiend's throat. Jumper girl comes out and down goes Jet. Shubu is here, Mr. Craig goes out and Paladin gets taken apart. Paladin connects and Shubu Shubu is in trouble. Feeling field with the glimmer with the glimmer cape. So much rug, Dr. Spasibo gets the BKB popped off. Pearl player is going to go down, but Shubu gets dropped as well. There's the damage still coming out on the subwoofer. Subwoofer goes down, Razor buys back. The Spirit Vessel on the Terrible Player, because it might be dropping so close, but does be able to survive. Cloud gets the BKB off. Ignore the Maledic, down goes Lung Butter. What BKB timing? Cloud of the Field finishes off IPA. Um, Cloud is like, oh no, BKB, we're off! Oh no, Static League as well. Well, the shot finishes off, but Cloud needs to TP out of there. Cloud, there we go. There's the TP. Invoker's here, though. Not quite in time. Tornado's almost there, but a little bit too late. Exort. It was quite a terrible player, but Paladin's here with the path of the field. Gonna clean up. Yep, down goes terrible player. Well done, Paladin. Super fast, blink forward, crippling fear, but in almost the wrong spot. It's not my time. Dick is in some trouble. Um, deafening glass. Gus is there, though, as Skinner he does eat the creep. Cloud takes on placebo. Um, um, Dix, Dix, Dix. Okay, you don't have any lifesteal. Dix is okay. That was really scary. Paladin is saved by a subwoofer. Jix almost kills themselves trying to find something. But time to eat a creep. There we go. There we go. That's tasty. That's tasty. MTL's regrouping over here. Subwoofer got first off. We already saw that. Going for Lotus. Still doesn't have any shard. Where is your shard, sir? Cloud is leading net worth wise. We do have Lung Butter shard. For the old switcher room. That's definitely good. I, I like it. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Switcheroo is very fun. But I will say Subwoofer's shard is really important in my opinion as well. Shibidu gets caught out and Shibidu is totally dead. Paladin pops people here. Pull down to IPA. IPA is in serious trouble. IPA is getting wrecked. Static Link. Atos comes out. Paladin's BKB pass one off. But two goes for nothing. Fiend's grip is there. Switcheroo gets popped. Manta is popped. Cloud's going on Lung Butter and Lung Butter almost goes down, but Glimmer Capes just in the nick of time. Well done. Finish it off. Yep, they take it off. Paladin is just so buff. Lifesteal from the sword. It's Paladin Sword on Paladin. Now it's Rush time. When well, you don't have IPA, and there's no Solar Guardian. Did you like no damage though? Look how slowly Roche is dying. Wait, come on, let's go. Alacrity. Oh, did you already, did you already use it? Maybe, maybe you already used it. Did you use it on a creep? You probably used it on a creep. Okay, Alacrity. There we go. Yeah, Paladin. Now you're doing some damage. And there's Frostbite. Woo! Finally, Roche will drop. He's looking for initiation up here on the high ground. Doesn't find one. Going for Bane Shard. I like that. AoE spell. Subwoofer has a random belt. What is the belt for? What is this belt for? I don't... I don't understand. Jigs? 
There's smoke, Jix, and it's daytime. Oh no! Oh, but the dodges! Jix has the blink. There. Oh, but the plasma field gives vision. Jix TP's out. Is it gonna be enough? But the frostbite is there. There's the silence of crippling here, but expert is there, and down goes Jix. Two placebo one shots coming out. Good job, Paladin, as always. Right spot at the right time. Paladin is so fast. Got the plus 21 moving speed. Now we got Perma. Perma 512 moving speed. Oh my goodness. Plus 45% movement speed. Not so much. And with the amount of slows they have, that's just pretty good, I suppose. Or is it? I like the old the old storm is better. Where it would damage someone when they when they when they did a spell on you. I like that one better. What else we got? Um Titanic on Paladin now, okay. Titanic over a Scepter. That's surprising to me. Scepter or or the Presser would have been really good. In my opinion. A Toge. Go off, come down. Bring forward Dark Attention and Subwoofer. Oh, so close! It comes down and down goes Subwoofer. Mr. Try gets dropped. Top boss BKB. Paladin's here. Fiend's grip from the Bane. Well placed by D. Plus. Down goes the first life of the Razor. Two we do is just trying to make space. Does connect by the Invoker. Kubidu is almost certainly dead. Cast goes out, but the gust with the kill. Longwater gets absolutely wrecked. Kubidu somehow survives. Terrible player has a BKB for some reason, because why not? You're a CM. That's pretty cool. Um. Um. Power him. Power him. Bummer cave. Hey, Shannon gets popped for the dispel, but. They catch Paladin down and Paladin gets wrecked! Frostbite, Eight Toes, Freezing Field, and Cloud. Good baits, IPA. Really good baits. I assume that was on purpose. Cloud has... Crystalis going for Silver Edge. Nope, just straight up Italis. There we go. I, I dig it. I dig it. You know, you could also get... It'd be weird, but you could get Witchblade with um, Revenant. Get Revenant's Brooch. Just so you can hit enemies that are, are um, crowded, that are ethereal. Then what is Necro gonna do? That's just silly. Very silly. So Buffer is so close to Lotus. I still feel like still feel like Death Seeker would be really good. Oh, it would have been good a long time ago. Not so good at the moment. Placebo got the shard as well. Got double chaos meteor, which is looks really, really cool. Even if it's kind of pointless. It looks really cool. Bane got the shard too. Wish Doctor, we're gonna going for a second glimmer cape. Five hero smoke. Lotus on IPA. That's good. Thieb is here. Thieb is glimmer caped. Wow, the play is from Thieb. How did you just do that? Bring forward from Dix and then backs off. Thieb plus, how did you do that? You just glimmer caped and walk between all of them. What? What? Too cool. Trinity goes out, gets dodged out very nicely. And he's there. For some reason, Jix just walked back into it, because why not? Sides, he is a hunter, he can just eat a creep, and he gets a lot of mana back. Just like that. Okay, there we go. Another kill. He hits pretty hard. Wow. Haste. And let's give some bonus damage. Oh, 185 bonus damage. That would explain that. I didn't know it was that much. Where's your shard? Hello. It's coming up. Any more shards? Charge, 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 charge. And no scepters. Main scepter is cool, but cost money. Smoke? Are you ready to smoke? You're all gathered together. But no one has smoke. Oh. CM bot smokes. Oh, Paladin got Manta. Okay. P 
Manta over SNY. More dispels is, is good. They have Gust. They have Atos. They have um, Ancient Seal. Lots of stuff that it's worth doing. Global concussive shot. Woo! Look how far it goes. It will chase you. Now you are slowed a little bit. You're so cool. Global concussive shot. You can just keep keep spamming it. Five hero smoke this time. They see Paladin. They see Paladin. Void. Um. Um. Pikachu's pup. Huge damage coming out. And good luck. Okay. Okay. That was less than exciting. I'm sorry. You had me excited for a moment, and then nothing happened. Are they gonna smoke? I guess they're just playing safe. That's cool too. We need to travel on Dr. Placebo now. Hopefully he'll get to push out the other lanes, you know, and then join the fight when he needs to. But this tower is about to take a beating. A beating! Nice job, Deathwing Blast. These catapults will, will not attack. They will not attack for next time. a little bit longer. Chaos Meteor! Now we got levels of Exort. Pretty good stuff keeping to mid. Looks like 70 30 is pushing top. This is like Kaleo. And he popped BKB for some reason because he probably was about to die. Well, blow me over. We're Radiant's gonna just smooth over that. Not a big deal. Finally smoking on the side of MTL. They've been waiting for a while. I've been Radiant's waiting for a while. Top tower is under attack. Tier 4 item time. They're gonna walk up. But everyone's sticking together. Everyone's sticking together. Smoke gets dropped. But the Fiend's grip from the low ground. Huge timing. Gus stops the is very, very low. Walking through the Chaos Meteor. Somehow still alive. He's gonna survive. Freely Field goes down. Trail player takes out Silver and Thief Plus. Cloud takes out Paladin as well. Buyback from Thief Plus on that Bane Race Pack is doing a lot of work. Shubi Doo gets now a Ditch Witch Rouge there onto the Witch Doctor. Lumber Butter is gonna get dropped though from the multi shots. Down they go. Dr. Okay. Who gets the Tornado off on a Shubi Doo, but Shubi Doo's there. Now looked it up. Should be fine. Gus of Shot on a Thief Plus. We don't want to have a die back on this Bane. Huge fight coming out. Ogre TP is out. They are on it. Roll. Four kills per squat. Cloud dishing out damage. And somehow Jinx not dying at all. Huge Gust saves. Solar Guardian, well done. Jinx kept walking in the path of the Chaos Meteor, but somehow did not die. Serious work. Chaos Meteor, yeah, just, just walk in him, no big deal. Just, just keep walking. It just killed all the creeps. Max level Chaos Meteor. Woo! Plus 40% damage. I like it. So now what? We got the shard there. No, 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 no interruptions, sorry, break. Sorry, break her. Chart on Drow, that's gonna help against the Razor Bunch and the, and the Necro a little bit. To a certain extent. Going for Shiva's on Invoker, Lung Butter. Still working on Glimmer Cape, but they definitely have to watch out for buybacks now. They need to make sure they have enough money for buybacks. It's really, really important. So both her should get him to get by back. They're all getting so close. The plus looking for a grip with the glimmer cape doesn't quite catch yes, up. This will catch up. Paladin is level 24. Not sure what they're going for next. IPA. Ooh, telescope. Oh, I like that. Jinx, jikes, jix. Yes. Travel player shard. Yes, the walking freezing field. It probably happened last fight and I just wasn't even looking. Finally, Cloud. Cloud has butterfly. Cloud is buff. I think next you need Satanic and then they'll be pretty good. Yeah, Cloud. Yeah. Satanic should probably finish. Be, be a good next item for you. Get rid give, give up the boots. Give up the boots. Well, Hurricane Flag would also be decent. I just think it's a little bit more boring. Now they will suffer. The direst elements are pelting My foot itches. Things appear to be slowing down a bunch. 
Roche is up. We got level 21 drown. We have buybacks on a lot of, the, of MTL, but not on Invoker and not on Necro or Paladin. The three cords do not have buyback, which is kind of important. Probably a good time for 7030 to push. Whilst there is no buyback, Paladin should be getting it shortly, I assume. I have to get some creeps. Nope, they're gonna they're gonna split it up. Okay, sure. Paladin. Oh, there we go. 142. So close. So close. Sell your Wraith Banner. Yeah, be ready to sell your Wraith Banner, please. It would be the worst thing ever if you died and did not have buyback. Wait for the next creep wave. Don't block the camps, please. Don't block the camp, please. Subwoofer, your team is probably super mad at you right now. That was, that was a bit weird. I don't know what just happened. If that costs your team the win, I'm going to be a little bit sad. Plasma now has buyback, but Subwoofer doesn't have buyback, and you might have with the Ancient Stack. But you also might have with these, if Paladin was giving you, giving you creep camps. So what now? The dyer's pool yeah, shooby doo bop. Shooby doo bop. Can its end be drawing nigh? IPA is just chillin'. Just chillin'. Everyone's just chillin'. Everyone's freaking out. Cloud is super high up there. See, I'm going for the scepter, which is great. Going for overwhelming blink, I assume, on chicks. Cloud is going for I don't know. Hopefully satanic. I throw that. a smoke up. Kind of right in front of the forge spirit, so kind of obvious. But maybe they were at looking. Maybe they didn't know it was actually happening. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't there yet. And I just have come. Oh, nightmare onto terrible player with export to follow up. We're working on most terrible player glimmer capes up. We have vision. Paladin's like. I want to, but I'm all to help a lotus there. I don't want to static link. And they are wrecking Roche. Oh my goodness. What is this damage? Roche does get the is go down. He just gets picked up. Shibi Doo gets the sharp for some reason, but Paladin comes in, has the thing, but there's the bash coming in. Paladin is alone, 1v4, and does end up dropping. Wraith Pack probably doing some work, but also 4v1. That's Paladin out for the count. Buyback wise, Paladin. Does have buyback, which is kind of important. Um, Jix took out Lung Butter. Lung Butter does have buyback, so that's good. That's good. They're still okay. They're still okay. Soul Guardian is available. Shibudu got that Loki bash, I think, on Paladin. That was unexpected. Terrible player. It's okay. It's okay, terrible player. It's okay. You're you're doing great. Jix has overwhelming blink. That's pretty good. IPA. Got shard too, which is a little bit silly. It's kind of like centaur shard. So look, you get every time you cast, you get a stack. Look, see, total mana keeps increasing. Look at that, it keeps going up. So silly. Shield of the Scion. Rah. Over at mid. Oh, nice chaos meteor. Stop on the TP from IPA, building that push a little bit longer. V plus, looking for that nightmare. Once a setup, not gonna get one. Who got the shard? Who's the last person? Someone needed to get a shard. It was, oh, I think it was IPA that got the shard. The one from Roche. Multi shot, lots of explosions. Gonna be so hard to push, so hard. You're up against an invoker and a subwoofer who doesn't have shard still. That would help you like one shot waves. If you had the shard, if you had Death Seeker, one Death Seeker with the Death Pulse, I think, clears out most waves for a while. I think. Herbal player is still working on that. Scepter. 24k advantage for 70 30. They seem like they're in a very good position at the moment. TP is being very aggressive. Terrible player. Five Hero Smoke. They're kind of all spread out, so I don't really know what their objective is. Paladin is considering going on Jix. Jix has BKB though. He gets popped. Sidelink is there, but Paladin's here. Pops their own BKB. Jix loses quite a bit of damage, but I mean, everyone's backing off, so who really cares? And Cloud's got DD. Look at that. 700 
some odd damage per hit. I I don't want to do math because 770 damage. It's a lot of damage per hit. Don't worry about it. And you add on top of this the bonus damage. Okay, Fiend Script gets interrupted by the tornado. Lotus Orb gets there. There's the thing, and down goes B plus. Oh my goodness, BKB pops. Paralyzing Cast because they're bouncing around like crazy. Placebo pops their own BKB. Cloud multi shots and almost takes out Piled Up, but not quite. Buy back by B plus. Wraith Pack because they're doing some work still. Solar Guardian coming out with huge air weak. Coming out. Oh my goodness, that was the Solar Guardian radius. Dr. Super goes down, spies back. Phoenix Field is a terrible player with the BKB walking through with the shark. It's doing so many cool things. Terrible player takes on B plus. Lung Butter buys back. As does Invoker. B plus dies. That's a, that's a die back from B plus. Invoker still, or Drow still has the BKB. IFPA gets hit by the Exorbite. It's not quite the damage. The Sun Strike. Subover still here. Subover still has the Scythe. They do back off with the EMP. Paladin is super, super fast still. They save their melee racks at least. But Jix blinks forward very aggressively, has BKB up very shortly. Cloud is baiting so hard. Cloud the field comes out. Cloud pretending to be an illusion, but is actually a real hero. The storming of that was cute. I would have thought it was an illusion too. Why would a drow randomly walk up there? Takes out the Brax. Feels like we might be near the end of things. I don't know exactly, but looking pretty, pretty grim for the MTL side. 39k now in favor of 70-30. Buyback wise, Subwoofer still got it. Paladin had to use it as a placebo, acid, lung butter, and B plus. So one buyback left. Net worth 14k. 14k up is the drow. Cloud is, is riding high. And Bada Moonshard. Um okay. You know, you could you could also buy a Ag's Blessing. Oh, things happening over here. DKB is popped. EMP Deafening Blast. Jix does lose a lot of mana. TP pops the Scepter and the BKB. Walks slowly, slowly away with the Freezing Field. And everyone goes back. Jix is just going to duke it out. Because why not? Eat a creep. Jix, eat a creep. Please. Yes, there we go. Back off that fold. Swing forward. Pop BKB. Jix is being very excited. The static link though. Because it goes through BKB. Paladin pops their own BKB. Atos comes down. Placebo pops BKB. Gets out of this one. Guardian Rig is coming down. It's going to hit on a Necro and the Witch Doctor. Blink forward. There's the things are coming out. Long Butter dies. Subwoofer for dies. Subwoofer could buy back. Subwoofer does buy back. Ice Wall comes down. Things are running. Shibidu. Shibidu doesn't drop in two. The Bane, well done, but Dr. 2 is getting wrecked by the BKB Cloud, and down goes Sebo. That's the last time. No buyback from them. Catching up with the Atos and the Mystic Flare, down goes Paladin. Subwoofer is the only person left alive. Buyback by Night Soccer. This could be it, and GG is indeed called by MTL. 70-30 wins game number one. Oof. GG's. 48-minute game. Cloud carried so hard. Beginning, it felt like it was an MTL's hands. They had the really, really farmed Razor. It didn't feel like they could follow through, though. Once they got to later game, even with IPA's pretty slow start, somehow CM got a lot of farm, too. That was cute. That was very cute. Very cute. 16k. She had... Wait, she had blessing. She got, she bought everything. What? I feel like I missed something. CM. Oh, okay. Why are they not showing on here? What, what am I doing wrong? Oh, wait. There it is. That was weird. Why did it show like the wrong items? There. Much better. Cool. Well, congrats to them. Now we will switch over to another game. In the next game, once I can find the match ID and stuff. Oh, and it's 10.30. We gotta rush through the second one. We gotta rush really fast. Unless it's a short game. We shall probably have to skip the... We'll skip the, the drafting phase, because, you know, I have to get ready for bed and stuff. Mm -hmm. Watch 
replay. Here we go. Drafting Dota. Okay, we'll do the intro at least and then we can skip ahead Five to the game. Seconds remaining. Welcome back, everyone. It is game number two of this best of two between Mary Todd Lincoln and Seven Dark 30. We're here in the Amateur Dota, Cha Dota 2 Challenger League Season 35, week number five. This is game number two. So last game we had 7.30 with victory man. over MTL. We had Cloud team raging man. on that drow. A really, really farm, terrible player CM with BKB, Blink, Scepter, and Shard on a CM. That was ridiculous. It kind of farmed, a bit unfortunate IPA on that Skyrath Mage up against a really, really far in Paladin, but it was a razor. Ten MTL did not seem to have late game. They didn't have much AoE, it was mostly single target stuff, Five so they seconds remaining. really fell off after some a couple bad fights, and they could not pull it off to the end. It's game number two. Now, as far as the overall stats of the, of the season go, team. after this game, now both teams have seven wins each, because MTL had seven before, seven dark 30 had six, so now seven dark 30 won one game. They're tied seven and seven, so this game will determine who gets to be number one. I guess. Except for the other team. That's number two as well. They could also win two games and then and then they'd be tied for number one. Or, or something. <laughs> yeah, theoretically. But my bedtime's at eleven thirty and I gotta brush my teeth and stuff beforehand. So we're gonna skip ahead to the game. I apologize. It's how life works. Radiant team pick. We have people at bedtimes. I'm already excited because we got Hoodwink, which was banned last time, and Juggernaut, which was banned last time, and Juggernaut's super, super, super fun. Banner of the Witch Doctor because that was super frustrating. Sorry, let's skip ahead. I'm sorry. Ah. Whoa! We got a Mars and a Dusa and an oh, oh, Ogre, but a Pugna. Oh, oof. A Naga and an Axe? What? What kind of lineups are these? I would have had so many comments about these. So many comments. Well, here we go, everyone. Welcome to the actual game. I don't know what's going on. Jix is offlane axe with a really battle. it's not a naked axe. I'm I, I wish you had a naked axe. Or oh, a cool looking axe. My it's a very big axe. Shit. I You do look cool. And you got like a wolf pelt on your back. You Or is that like a Marana pelt? A a tiger pelt? Did you kill Marana's Marana's lion tiger thing? Terrible player is gonna be support support. DP and support Chibi Doo on the Dawnbreaker once again. That seemed to work pretty well. I don't know if Chibi Doo like single handedly turned the game around, but they clearly knew what they were doing. They had some pretty nice, nice Starbreakers and really good Solar Guardians to help save and set up. Yeah. On the other side, we've got Lung Butter on the support Pugna. One of my, one of the heroes I hate playing against the most because they are so annoying. The decreps and the heals, and it's just, oh, because the decrep lasts for three and a half seconds. It's cooldown is seven seconds, and then you get the plus one decrep duration there. And then you could get, like, a Octarine or an Arcane Rune, and it's like perma decrep. That's just annoying. The battle begins. It is, oh, so frustrating. Oh. I like the subword for Mars. That's really cool. C plus on the support. Ogre. Ogre is a bit boring for me. If they're really, really solid hero, good base armor, good base regen. Look at that. 6.8 base HP regen. That is fantastic. Works pretty well with a Venom Orb. Does a good amount of damage. We'll see how they fare up against an Axe. So an Axe with a Dawnbreaker. They're not going to be as afraid to tank a few hits. Paladin, though, on this Juggernaut. Jigs is going to have to be a little bit careful if he, gets, if he drops low. Because Ignite from Ogre with the spin is a pretty good combo. Dawnbreaker shouldn't have to worry about it too much, but Jix will. Aw, giving each other last hit. So pretty. Oh, with the spins. V plus is just going to block the pull. Well done. Nice job. Sorry, block the camp from getting a creep. So it can't be pulled. D-plus is being very excited. Hello. Six is level two already. Got the spin, got the call. Ready to go. So, over at top, we have 
same as before, we have our very own Cloud on the Naga with a cool bubble hat. Look at her, so cute. She's got a bubble head. Wait, it's not a bubble head. It's an octopus head. Oh, it's even cuter. That's so cute. With a really special crown. That is really cute. I like the bubble head myself, personally. Oh, Axe is taking a lot of damage over at bottom. Kids, the stream is doing a good work, but not quite enough power. over at top. Things were also happening. Terrible player got some spirit siphon, a lot of lung butter, but taking a lot of damage themselves. Cloud is already leveled up the Riptide. Good way to farm, even at level 2. Lung butter's here on the Pugna at top lane with the super, super, super annoying Pugna. I hate them so much. Supporting the subwoofer on this axe. Ogre's getting in a little bit of trouble here at bottom. Shubidu is out of mana though. Starbreaker must have connected. Shubidu has no more mana. Probably needs a... I see soul rings a lot. Maybe not so much on a... Support Dawnbreaker, but maybe a mango? I don't know. At the moment, we're not going to see any spells from Shibidu for a while. Over at mid, we have the same lineup as usual, same matchup as before. Dr. Placebo this time on a Dusa instead of Invoker. Very different hero. Definitely more late game. A little bit odd when you have you have a Juggernaut and a Dusa. They're both fairly greedy heroes. They need Dusa needs a lot of farm to get off the ground, but they're not like they can't solo team fights and they don't have really like control, so. You gotta be really careful with them. And it's two heroes now where their physical DPS carries. Paladin can do a lot of damage, but can't control anyone, and if you, you can control him a lot. And Jace can kind of ignore him with the cry, you can ignore Omisash. And Dusa needs a lot of farm that Paladin also wants. Oh, looking for the call, but not quite there. Spin comes out, nice body blocking for Paladin. There's the fire blast on a Jix. Jix is like, you're annoying. Please stop. Should we do? Starbreaker connects on a two heroes. Huge damage. She was in a little bit of trouble this time. The plus has a little mana. There's a fire boss that does connect, but they can't follow up their their melee heroes. It's not gonna happen. Thebe has a fire has an ignite. She was gonna take a lot of damage, a lot of damage, but it's it's just going away pretty quickly. They're okay. Jix has ring of health. Going for Vanguard. The plus really wants to go for it, but it's just not going to be enough. It's not enough. And not enough mana for it. So close. Chibi dude, did you time that? You're you're not quite dead. But did you time it so that there wouldn't be enough mana for a fire blast and an ignite? So close. Lastly is IPA on this Hoodwing. That's a cool hero. I love Hoodwing. She's super, super fun to play. I don't often see Hoodwink. Wow, lucky bounces, lucky bounces. Don't often see Hoodwink at mid in actual games. In pub, sure, it's for fun. But typically, she's a support, typically an offlane support because of her mobility. There's a call on to Axe, followed and taking a good chunk of damage. Has spin, though. Spin versus spin, and has the healing ward, so should be okay. And 10 sick charges. Jix, 500 or so from the Vanguard. Placebo is here. Oh, that was random. You can't really pull. I don't know what's going on, but sure. Whatever floats your boat. Cloud is killing some creeps. Cloud going for power treads first. Somehow, terrible player is being a really terrible player and getting the XP solo. Nice work, DP. Your name doesn't make any sense. You are way too good to be named Terrible Player. I like Subwoofer. Got the Soul Ring now on the Mars. Spirit Siphon comes out. Subwoofer is like, ah, you're annoying. I can't do anything about it. Might as well just turn around and face it. Lung Brothers get oh, over at bottom. B plus gets taken down. First blood at six minutes. Given to Jix on a V plus. There was a call. There was probably a Starbreaker. Yeah, Starbreaker. And two calls. That was a long fight. Somehow missed all of it. They're farming. IPA got has a haste rune. Has sharpshooter, so now is the time to possibly get something. 
Haste Rune can be very advantageous. You could TP to a lane and get quickly back to mid. Terrible players here. Spirit Siphon the Lung Butter. Lung Butter is not too worried. Those Nether Blasts are a lot of damage. Oh, uh, Subway for that was that was unlucky. Hate it when that happens. The catapults are the worst. They're so hard to know like where they're actually gonna hit. Ooh, lucky spins. Lucky spins. Should we do? Clarity. Yeah. Yeah. I would say soul ring too, but okay. B plus gets the sentry. IPA is gonna go for hopefully Javelin. And hopefully Gleipnir, because that's like the best hoodwing build ever. Cloud is successfully farming the jungle, it seems like. Not doing well, okay, we're doing better than Paladin apparently when it comes to last hits. Meat heroes are about neck and neck. These heroes are pretty even. These heroes, yeah, everyone's pretty even. That doesn't do heavily one way or the other. I know first blood was given, but not too. Nothing, nothing huge. Nothing huge. B plus needs to be a little careful. Venom orb on there. TV doesn't doesn't have a fan of though to go for a full combo. Paladin does have Omni Slash. Does have level six. And could swap in the mango to get off a double combo. The spin and the Omni Slash. The Jigs is so tanky. Got the Vanguard and everything. Nice job B warding from the plus. Placebo going for Yasha first. Okay. Okay. I mean that that works. Shooby doo. Shooby doo. Shooby doo. Jigs is too tanky to kill now. Paladin got their phase boots. IPA, please kill someone. Please kill someone. Nice rush back. Time is running out, but I well, heard the tower. sharpshooter animation, but it didn't actually happen. Was it the charge up sound? TP is. How are you still level four? I feel like you're always there. They must be doing a really good job of pushing you back. Well done, not dying, TP. Well done. Long butters here. Drops the nether ward down. Lucky for them that the ward no longer lowers mana regen. Right? It lowers spell damage. Woo! But it doesn't lower mana regen. That was annoying when it did that. Then just like being around it passively was really, really annoying. You could like literally lose mana while you're near it, especially at earlier levels. Over at bottom, Dawnbreaker goes down to an Omni Slash. Okay. Paladin spins for some reason. Celebratory spins. I don't understand. Oh, because IPA was, was not visible. Good choice. I like the save play. I love the save play. IPA got Javelin going for Maelstrom. Yep. Hopefully Gladmere eventually, but you could decide to go for a different build, a different item first. Call onto the two of them. Jix is in a little bit of trouble. There's a spins coming out on a Jix. Jix is getting united. There's the Bloodlust. TB's coming in from Dawnbreaker. Jix is like, are you sure you want to? Converge. Oh, almost going for the chomp, but a little bit too early. So close is the call. And the coconuts. Sorry, the acorns. Another team kill. Good rotation by IPA. Maybe not absolutely necessary, but good they got the kill. On both heroes. Cloud going for Yasha as well. I was thinking of Falcon Blade with the attack. Sage's Mask, but maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. I guess you could go for an Octarine. That'd be, that'd be cool. Octarine would be, wouldn't be half bad. Sorry, not Octarine. Orchid. What the heck am I saying? Orchid into Bloodthorn. Because Mage Slayer would be, would be decent up against these two. They are support, so it's not like huge. They're looking, they're looking. We got Solar Guardian. Oh, they're in some serious trouble. They're getting circled around. They're getting taken apart. Nice Spear pushes Spellbreaker away. They're looking for it. Starbreaker just can't get along better. Along better is in trouble. Along better doesn't actually drop. Cloud went 404, so no chance of ensnare. No netting onto Subwoofer. Subwoofer does have Arena, though. Not enough for Arena and Spear, so. Not the best idea, and no stick. 
No stick at all. IPA's got DDM. So I've seen a sharpshooter yet, but getting pretty close to that maelstrom. Subwoofer converge, baits out the ignite. Radiance middle tower Things are under. happening. Whether Spirit Siphon is there. Purpose, structures have been fortified. IPA. Why are you tanking? Okay, you're tanking. You are you are strong. Congratulations. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Placebo's like, no. No. Uh, they find Shubi Dude. There's the multicast fire blast. Suburb finishes off with the God's Rebuke. Good, good catch, good catch. Though it seemed like it was multiple for a long period of time. Oh God, B plus walks into the Roche Pit. Oh, and no, don't come back around. Ah! You're okay, right? You're okay? IPA's not giving up, but IPA, it's a bait. It's a bait. There's the decrep. There's the heal, but Bushwhack does go there with Coconut Bouncing. V plus though does get the kill with the ignite damage. I assume I wasn't looking too close. Spirit Siphon Cloud has a level of Instair now. We do have a level of Net. Still three heroes here though, and some of her has Arena and full mana. Converge Spirit Siphon on a V plus. There's the net. Arena goes down with a starboard catch on all two of them. On all three of them. Wait, two of them. I'm blind. Sword Guardian comes out. Does end up getting the sun onto the airspin of the Paladin. There's the blink call. Jix is a little bit low. Should be kind of careful. Paladin has only slash. It does balance pretty well. They are fairly tanky. Jumps around. Starboard comes out. Doesn't quite connect. But the calling blade onto Paladin for the finish off. There's Sharpshooter finishing off Subwoofer as well. They're looking for there. Almost second Culling Blade, but not quite. Shubidu gets a kill onto Lung Butter. Shubidu almost died, but somehow nobody died on the side of 70-30. And they got four heroes. There's your first cold on the side. Cloud's got the song now. IPA with some cleanup. IPA's got Maelstrom now. Hopefully Gleipnir. That makes the most sense to me. Just go straight for Gleipnir. Good choice should we do on the like in place Solar Guardian. Is it is what what cancelled the life drain. Or what stopped the life drain. A nice blink on Jix. Jikes. Yikes. My blood sugar is increasing. Ooh, that is annoying. Live. Give me a moment, please. I did not take it for the food. My apologies. Okay, here we go. Over at top, IPA is being very deceptive. Just chilling. Just chilling. I have a feeling IPA will go for plus two acorn shot. Oh, wow, so much damage going forward with the arena. Spirit connect onto DP. Finish up by the arena. Lots of damage coming out. Some gates was popped. But placebo is kind of in place. Sharpshooter goes out onto placebo. Placebo is still alive somehow. Jigs. They're just wailing on him. Eventually, Placebo finally goes down. So we're trying to survive the gunshot with the slow. Good bounces. Maelstrom procs and IPA gets the finishing touch onto Subwoofer. They lost the DP. Support. Bleak forward. Nice fire blast. But there's the ensnare. There's the bushwhack. And... Oh. Holy cast animation, but didn't actually do anything. Oh, it did do ignite. IPA gets a double kill this time. Oof, they're doing some good work here on the side of 70-30. Four kills. Paladin was smart and didn't even stay there. Finish it, has finished at Maelstrom on Paladin. Makes sense. Have to be careful for the Naga. Is Naga going for Diffusal? No. No. Cloud's getting Manta. Looks like it's flying out right now. Yeah, that's right. Should we do going for Wraith Pact again? Very far away from that. T TP on the DP has Tranquil Boots. And these two items for some reason that I don't understand. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, oh. Oh. Okay. Drums. Drums in the deep. I haven't built drums in such a long time that I don't even remember what, it, what it's composed of. Going for Boots of Bearing! Which is so good because they have some really annoying slows and Boots of Bearing would mean everyone in the range is not get affected by slows when you activate it. I love it. 
Exorcism pop. B plus is here. Drop an Ob's Ward and immediately gets killed. Well done, B plus, with the predictive sentry warding. Always impressive to see stuff like that. Exorcism. They're trying to finish off. TP's coming in from Paladin. Only level 10, so all we got is a level 1 Omni Slash. It's still a decent chunk of damage. Careful player should be healing up pretty soon. Blink 4 from Jigs gets the stun. And the Cloning Blade finishes off the you, but there's the arena catching everyone out. Jigs goes down. 4 times streak ended. Spin coming up. Paladin. Paladin needs to get an Omni Slash. Hits on the Shibidu, but Shibidu Solar Guardian's out of there. Comes back in place. Stun on the Paladin. It eventually goes down too long better. That was really cute though. You can Solar Guardian out of. Omni Slash. Pretty cute. Trevor Player tries to jump out of there with Tumble or Swipe, but there's a spin coming out. Trevor Player dies to, to Mr. Placebo. Dr. Placebo, excuse me. IPA throws out the Acorn shot. Clears out a lot of the wave. Nice fight for MTL this time. time Buyback was on Thebe, but they did kill one core. Sharpshooter, Sharpshooter. Good bounces. Connects onto the Mars. Heals coming out from Lung Butter. That's the really, really annoying. The really, really annoying bottom tower is under attack. Placebo has Manta. As does Cloud. They got any subwoofer. Or Shooby Doo. Sorry, Shooby Doo. Shooby Doo. Shooby Doo. Um, excuse me. Trusty Shovel, please. Under attack. Trusty Shovel. Trusty Shovel. No, there you go. There you go. Fire Blast. No Z cast. Ignite. Pyro player's like, okay, I'm here. Starbreaker. Oh no, Thieves in trouble. But the heal's coming out from Lung Butter. Spins there. There's the Blink Call. The heal's the ward gets killed. Uh, Blade Mail on Jix. There's the D crap. And they all get out peacefully. No harm, no foul. Paladin. Is level 12. Level 2 Omni Slash will be available after cooldown. Pretty good stuff. B Plus has Arcane Boots. Lung Butter heals up. There we go. Almost has. Oh. Oh, gonna get Aether Lens and not break up Arcane Boots? There we go. There we go. Too many items in place. Now we got Tranquil Boots and Aether Lens. I highly approve. Highly approve. And the shards? No shards yet. What? Blade Mail, Manta, Dragon Lance on IPA. What? Please go for it. No, and then BKB? Why not Glyphmere? Shiva has Grow Bow. That's pretty good. Shiva going for Shiva. Or sorry, for Scotty. Yep. So far as Blink going for BKB. Yep. Um, Paladin, you're gonna go for. Shard would be nice. Be Hero Smoke. They're looking for someone. They're all kind of here, except for Placebo. Going forward, Arena comes out. Converge almost tries there, but it doesn't get you out of Arena. Starbreak comes out. There's the song. TP, the song is not long enough. Oh, a little miscommunication there. Spins come out and down goes Shooby Doo. Lots of miscommunication. There's the Blink Call with his full stone gaze. Cloud is almost dead. Perfect on the though there with Lung Butter for the Life Drain. Nice job with the combos of the ults. Down go. Wow, three times killing spree. Sharp Cheater does do something. I don't know. I, I miss. I miss something. Did someone get Sharp Cheater? Well, they're all back up to full. Lung Butter has got heals, and they've got healing wards, and all that stuff. There's the shard. There's the shard. Chix is like, get out of my house. Get out of my house. IPA has Sharp Cheater up in 15. IPA still really, really scary. Looking for a call. Acorn shot. Nice bounces. Nice slows. Well done, IPA. Doesn't actually catch out, but pretty good. You can see the miscommunication here was very, very surprised. Um, Shibi Doo didn't realize that that Naga was songing, and then didn't TP out until it was too late, and so wasted a Starbreaker. Didn't TP. Didn't Solar Guardian, and then the song ended before the TP finished. So that Mars gets spear off. IPA in this room. Travel clear. Boots are bearing yet. Boots are bearing. Boots are bearing. No, not quite. Not quite. So close. So close. 
Defusal on Nanka. Okay, okay. There, and now we're gonna go for the, for the Orchid. Now we're gonna go for it. And the Mage Slayer. Gross. Gross. All the item builds are so weird. I need to pay more Dota so I can figure them out. What? Why was the Banner Rune still there? That's odd. Oh no! Dr. Placebo, don't go out there. Nice job. Keep peeing away. Good choice. Denied. Are they hunting? B plus. Going for Aether Lens, Subwoofer going for BKB. Still. Placebo's getting pretty close to Scotty. Getting pretty close. Paladin. Oh, Basher. I approve. It's completed. Just gotta wait for the player to pick it up and get your IPA here, scary camouflage. Wait, no, just in this room. Scary, scary camouflage. You gotta like stay. Oh look, they found the button. Radiant structures have been fortified. So um, IPA. IPA. TV's coming in from Blink. Back. Push back next this time. Six. Then call. They will also guardians as well. Call. Some of us in serious trouble. Sharp shooter comes out and Kongli finishes off some Special camera with the courage. They're all running away. Even though they could easily kill Shibi Dubop, they're terrified. They expect, as I would expect, Shibi Doo is being backed up by everyone, but little do they know, Shibi Doo is totally alone. Kind of funny. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Basher now, Shibi Doo getting close to Wraith Pact. Jix, I don't know. Turbo Radiant player, boots Minotaur of bearing. Has been Where are your boots of bearing? Excuse me. Excuse me. You, you you got you got the item. Boots of bearing. You have these two. Oh, that costs a lot of money. I, I get it, I get it, I get it. That costs a lot of money. I'm sorry, terrible player. You know better than I do. Fifteen hundred money. Gold. Fifteen hundred gold for that. Cloud. Got Orchid, okay. Wait, what? Minus one Riptide hits. Oh, every six attacks. Wow, I have not played that in long enough. This is just embarrassing. I'm learning so many new things. Five Hero Smoke. They want to find someone. Jix. Haste Rune! Haste Rune! Everybody gets ignited. Doesn't grab the Haste Rune. Spear connects. Jix is just a little bit troubled. It's a Stun coming out, stun gaze as well. There's the spins. Down goes Jix. Nicely placed. Cloud pops the song. Gets out of there. Should be okay. Cloud is quite low. They took out the plus. They did lose the axe. Even with the haste turn. Good rotation by MTL. Good fight. Good fight. The placebo has finished Scotty. That's pretty good. Blank Butter's got the Aether Lens. Subwoofer. Not quite at BKB yet. Paladin has Omni Slash up. Acorns. Acorns. Paladin's taking a lot of damage. There is no healing ward. No healing ward. BKB on IPA. Now Gleipnir, please. At this point, it's kind of late, though. You might as well get crits. Or Deso. Or crits. Or or Deso. Odessa. Jix, what's your next item of choice? Oh you got shard! Yes! Shard is so good! It's such a good thing because you're gonna blink in on a Dusa, you're gonna blink in onto onto Juggernaut. You're gonna take away a lot of their damage. Attack reduction! So much! Five hero smoke. They want something to happen. They're excited. 70-30 wants to kill someone. So is probably going to be the first to go. There's the ensnare. Not enough time to blink. Push back connect as well. There's the spirit siphon and down goes subwoofer. Correctly to follow on top of Thieb and the culling blade finishes off the plus. Mega kill streak for IPA. Force attacks for Jix. And for Roche. Apparently Jix thinks so. Jikes. Jikes. Should be just got Solar Guardian. We have Vlad well, Wraith Pact. Hopefully flying out as we speak. 
IPA, what are you gonna go for? Who's gonna get shard? Is your shard any good? Your shard is not any good. Next shard, who's gonna get it? Y'all can plan now. Cloud, 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 cloud. cloud. Okay, level, level wise, level 20. Okay, placebo is gonna lose level wise. Net worth wise, Cloud is definitely farming more. Yes, Busa has split shot, but Naga has illusions. And Cloud knows how to farm with them. You pop illusions, you send your illusions to various places to farm enemy camps, to farm lanes, all at the same time. Cloud seems to have their timings down pretty, pretty efficiently. Jax is gonna have some good spins. Look at that, dealing 80% reduced damage. It's so good. It's so much reduced damage. If you get five spins, then then you do no damage. It's pretty cool. Calling blade damage. Oh, it's retroactive. That's good. That's good. I get so confused with the, with the permanent stacks that sometimes it's like a number here, but like the amount of thing it actually does doesn't line up. So like. In this case, it's four is four numbers, and at level three, you get two armor per kill. So four times two, that means as this level increases, then these stacks get increased too. The effect of the stacks gets it's increased. But for heroes like Necro, you get scythe charges, but the mana and HP regen you get from the scythe charges doesn't scale as you level up. So you get the amount that it was when you leveled up, when you got the charge, which is really really weird to me. To me, it's weird. And then, let's see, like Slark. Wait, is Slark have permanent ones? I forget. No, it's like not anymore, not anymore. Or no, Slark does. Slark has permanent, yeah. What's the other one? There's some other hero that gets permanent somethings from something. I forget. They're pushing, they're pushing. 7030 wants something to happen. They got this tier. How are the first one? We're gonna claim the outpost. There we go. Chubi has got the race pack working on the shard. Exorcism is pop. Very cute exorcism. Little cloak shenanigans. They do a good chunk of damage, but all the TBs are here. Five heroes. Some more for looking for a for an arena. Oh my god, so much damage coming out on a type of player. There's the call, but. The song is ruining everything. BKB from Subwoofer Arena comes out, but doesn't catch up. Death pop it. They do catch up, Jix. And there is a solo Omni Slash. Solar Guardian comes out. Does heal up X just enough. Jix is very, very, very low, but the spins are jerking so much. They reduce the damage to a ridiculous degree. Dive back, or there's a buyback from Juggernaut. Thieve goes down. Stone Gaze is popped. Dr. Thieve is still in the house. Um, FK is getting slowed a bit. Buybacks from Juggernaut and the Ogre. Chubidu comes back in and is gonna die. There's a stun for Paladin. Paladin is looking for IPA. IPA is gonna be fine, probably. Acorn Track comes out. Paladin does not have Omni Slash. But Nog is still here. Cloud is still ready and waiting. There's a bash, the first hit bash. Fire Blast, and down goes Nog's first life. That's kind of scary. IPA, you wanna maybe help? Cloud pops Manta. Bushwhack onto the heroes. There's the Orchid, and down goes Paladin to die back to the Juggernaut. Huge damage from IPA, that's the death for you. Placebo's doing some decent work. Cloud is so close to dying, but not quite. The Jukes, the fall, the follow-up sharpshooter, and Placebo goes down. Double kill for IPA. IPA is godlike. Oh, the the Jukes by Cloud. Hugging the tree line, staying just out of sight. And poor Placebo was just right by the tree. Gets bushwhacked and gets taken down. 19k now in favor of 70-30. IPA has joined the ranks of the top two. Six stacks of Deso. And yeah, got two pl plus two acorn shot bounces. And sharp and armor corruption. Radiance bottom Six is is walking up. Oh, we got the shard. Woo! We got the shard. Now you can you can suck on another ward and it'll suck on the heroes. There we go. Yeah. Doesn't really do very much damage though. So it's kind of, it looks really cool. Conceptually, it's really cool, but when you're like at support, 
Hug that. Doesn't really do squat. Down goes bot. Rax. Range and melee exercises pop. Moving on to mid. There's still a tier 2 here. And a tier 2 atop. So they got it. they're going to take some time. Chibi Doo is solo pushing pop. Has solar guardian. Has shard. On this side, B plus. I don't know. Zeus is coming back. Buyback wise, there is buyback on Lung Better. That is it. Paladin's being crazy aggressive, coming forward so far, um, and scares the off turn. They almost lose the tower, but not quite. They, they, they killed the catapult just in time. IP got Gleipnir, finally Gleipnir! Turbo player got Octarine! What kind of build is this? Octarine before getting Boots of Bearing when you already have Drum and Tranquil Boots. What kind of build is this? It's just weird. Dix got the heart. Decent. Flames, Naga. Got the Bloodthorn and the Scotty. Cloud is super, super buff. Oof. 3k HP approximately. Placebo's hanging in there for sure. Got the butterfly on placebo. Going for the shard, the cold blooded thing. Single target spells, they've got ensnare. That's that's okay. Um Snare, Battle Hunger, and Spirit Siphon. An acorn shot, but you don't have to do that. So what can they do? Placebo still seems to be the key. Placebo is the tankiest. Paladin does a lot of damage, but is also very susceptible to getting wrecked. And if we get Scepter here, then it'll go through Spell Immune Stuff, which is really scary. They're five hero smoke, they're dropping wards. Broche is not up yet. Potentially in a minute. Um, they're losing a lot of taking a lot of damage at bottom because they lost their bottom max already. The creep who just walking on in and wailing on these these things. Exorcism is popped at mid. Um, things are probably happening. Solar Guardian comes out. Jake's is kind of in a weird spot. Chubby Doo comes in. Starbuck gets on a few heroes. Some people taking a good amount of damage. But Pop Shiki B gets out of there. Paladin goes down to Cloud. That's a dieback from Paladin. Oh no! Shiki Doo gets taken out. Some of these are to be KB. Drops the arena. But the song comes out. There's the Wraith Pack. Sharpshooter just doesn't do anything because there's a song. Cloud's like, I want to finish this. Bone Glitter goes down. IP is godlike. Placebo is still there. Placebo is there. But there's the Glide Man. There's the Blade Man. Placebo gets Bloodthorn and gets taken down. Oh! IPA gets double kill finishes off. Sub over sub over buys back. Placebo does not have buyback. Oh, that's big. It's a big deal. Placebo bought something. Placebo bought an item and doesn't have buyback. GG is called. That is it. Nowhere left to go. This sub for and support left. Not enough. Glide here. Almost finished off Pugda, but not quite. Well, GG. Congrats to 7 Dark 30. Victory in game number two. That means they now have eight wins. They will pass up Mary Todd Lincoln in the league standings. I don't know if they will be officially number one or if they will be tied for number one with the other team they were already tied with. Let me go check that out real quick. Um, hmm. Let's see, back to standings. They're tied with Savage Sabres. Seven Dark Thirty and Savage Sabres were in second place, and now they are tied for first. Have they played each other? Savage Sabres have... They played MTL, they played... When they played each other, Savage Sabres and Seven Dark Thirty, Savage Sabres won both games. So that kind of is a little bit scary, but hey, that's future stuff. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I finished up just in time. Now I can go to bed and brush my teeth and everything. Hope you enjoyed the replay cast. That's all I've got. Mm. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy 4th of July. Hopefully y'all don't have to work. If you see fireworks or eat a pizza or something. I want to do one of those two things. Eat a pizza or and or eat a burger. But a pizza sounds better because I had a burger yesterday night. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Good night. Night torrentingus. Tor